Pirates, uh, Eric from Honda of Crofton. We are wrapping up our Ride Red uh, Power Lab event down here in Texas. Uh, this is our final day. We just got back from riding a full day. We got a chance to ride the Talon R, the Talon X. Um, got some the new Rancher and Foreman, well the Foreman Rubicon 520. Uh, and then the new Rancher with the new reverse button switch. So it was uh, quite a day, uh, long day out in the sun out here in Texas. Uh, you know, it was a great place. We were at Texplex. If you ever get a chance to go out here and take a look at that place, it is fantastic. What a, what a great facility. It's going to be the biggest thing I hear from customers all the time is, uh, why doesn't it have a locker? Um, you know, after talking to the engineers that designed this system today, um, obviously they did a really good job of showing us a couple of different demonstrations, more than just telling us this system's better than a, a locker. They were able to actually take a Talon X model. Uh, it was on rollers, so it had no traction, and it had its left front wheel pull itself up a 45 degree incline. It was pretty impressive. Um, I four wheel drive works just by pulsing the brake uh, for whatever tire is spinning. So the uh, uh, limited slip differential will send 60% of that power uh, over the other side. And you'll still see the other wheel spinning, which is okay. It's not getting a lot of power. It's just sending it all to that to that side that is getting traction. Right now, there's only one brake holding me. I'm glad I got Honda brakes. <laughs> First, I want to tell you why we're doing this. We believe you might have one or two customers come in and say, well, that Honda looks pretty good, or I might buy that Pioneer, or I might buy that Talon, except they don't have a diff lock. Or somebody comes in and says, I need a locker just like my truck, just like my tractor. Or somebody else says, I like a Razor has a locker. The Razor's got a locker. <laughs> and I four wheel drives a bunch of nonsense. Who would want that when you could get a locker? Right? We've got two sets of conveyor rollers on bearings. Okay, none of them are welded shut, no giving, there's no traction. Uh, I'm going to get one wheel over here crawling up here and another wheel is going to come up here in the air. Okay, there's no traction in the air either. So we're going to have three wheels sitting here, just grasping for nothing. When those wheels are grasping for nothing, our automotive sensor technology is going to sense that and say, these wheels are out here trying to do something. They're not getting anything. So let's just send all that torque to any wheel that's got the traction. So what's going to happen is this is a 45 degree slope. Three wheels going to be on rollers. They're going to be spinning. This wheel is going to grab 1,500 pounds of machine and a couple hundred pounds of human and just pull it right up that slope. It's not going to do it super easy. You're going to see that that's a pretty slippery slope and it's going to fight a little bit make that happen. Uh, but I want you to videotape that because that's what's going to happen and you'll see it is each one of those other wheels, the brain, the sensor, the ECU is going to tap the brakes to send the torque over through the limited differential and then it's, all that power is going to go there. So essentially you're going to multiply the, the normal power that wheel, wheel would get times three or four. So live valve. This is really cool. Um, in the X four live valve. This is a 64 inch machine. It's got stadium seating in the back for rear passengers, which is awesome. They've moved you in a little bit so that way you're not looking at directly at the back of the helmet of the rider in front of you. Uh, so the Honda's thinking on that is the more comfortable your rear passengers are, the more chance you're going to have as a driver to get out there and drive longer because everyone's having a good time and everyone feels like they're part of the experience, which is a great idea for Honda to do that. Um, so the live valve. So, you know, Polaris has the dynamic system, which is basically just a system that's kind of adapted to that unit. <clears throat> Honda worked directly with Bosch uh, to create an ECM. This thing is calculating 200 times a second. Uh, it is looking at, it has a five axis uh, accelerometer, you know, what the hell that thing is called. It's avoiding, you know, slipping my mind right now, but uh, it, it's, it's measuring all those different angles. Um, the, it has a steering input, 
So it knows the steering angle, it knows um, the acceleration, it knows the difference in wheel speed. Um, there is a lot of different information that this process, the CCM is gathering and based on that information is adjusting the valving of the shock. So if you go full send over a uh, jump uh, and suspension goes to full droop, when you come down it's full stiff. So you usually would have to, you know, have to go select your knob on soft to get that caddy style of ride if you know you're gonna you know um, you know kind of take it slower rock crawling or something like that but if you're hitting jumps um, you wanted that you know a little bit stiffer suspension to take some of those impacts you don't have to worry about that it does it all for you which you know for someone that's you know trying to use this machine and go fast and have fun not having to worry about suspension settings and things like that are, are, are a big deal. So. Have a roof on these things. Oh yeah. Chuck Miller everyone.
Oh, this was that was it. That was gnarly, dude. The, the ruts were like that, like that deep. It was sick. They must have run a bobcat and cleaned that thing up because that was so sick.
glad Honda took us out here. We learned a lot. Hope we can give that information to you guys. So I will uh, send you off with uh, a little bit of a uh, video. My helmet got pretty.